All right, everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company, and I'm gonna show you how you can add an outlet to a ceiling light that you might have in the garage. So right now, we have one of these in our garage. This is our rental, so it's not my style, um, but you know, forgive the poor drywall taping. We're just gonna focus on that light right there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some LED shop lights, which I'll have a video connected to this one at the end. But for right now, I just need to get a plug in the ceiling. And this was one of the easiest things that I could find without actually taking out the whole entire fixture and putting in just a plug. Because when we move, we'll probably be taking the uh, shop lights with us, but I wanna be able to still leave this light bulb up there. But in the meantime, I wanna be able to branch power off because the LED shop lights have a plug. So we're gonna install this and I'll show you how easy it is. Let's go. And as always, make sure that you turn the breaker off, turn the switch off. Luckily my panel's right there. Always be careful. So first we'll take out the bulb and then we'll take out these two screws and it gives a little twist and it'll pop down. Should be a black and a white and a neutral. like that. We'll undo these two. Looks like they have the ground that's not connected, so we'll connect the ground when we put the new one up. So something that's also cool about this, and I haven't really seen this style before, but these little tiny holes or curls right here at the top, that's actually where you can push the wire through. So you still have the option to use the screw. You could um, curl the wire over and screw it down. But you could also push it through these little holes and if you need to release it, this little slot right here, you put a little um, something with a fine tip, you can actually release the pressure on it. But these are actual little push throughs, so it's kind of nice, even though this is only like a $4 fixture, um, it still has this new updated push through wire method, so it's a little bit easier just to kind of push and stick it in. And then if you have to release it, you just push on the tabs. I'll put a link in the video for this fixture as well as some of the tools that I'm using um, to clean up the wires. Usually what I'll do is I'll actually take um, just like my wire strippers and I'll go here to the uh, old wires just because they have a little bit of corrosion on them. And I'll come in and I'll, I'll just snip off the ends and then I'll strip this just so I have a nice new clean piece of wire. Um, it's a little bit easier than trying to straighten it all out and then it also gives me a fresh piece of the copper to work with. So I'll do that. I'll strip these. I'll strip them back about, you know, half an inch, quarter of an inch, um, maybe a little bit, about half an inch. And then I'll slide it through and, and show you how those little push-ins work. So now all we have to do is push this into that little uh, hole right there and there's a little metal tab that actually bites down on it and makes the connection. Do the same thing there and then tuck our wires back up in here. Just like that. They slid right in and it bites on it really hard. Makes the connecting of it really easy. Now I just gotta tuck these wires back up in there. Um, the ground's already connected. So I have these, put in some new screws cause they're a little bit stronger. But we'll just put this back up, push it, give it a little turn and tighten it down. So now we have everything back and screwed in and secured. This whole thing is, is nice and tight. So we can put our bulb back in. And then as long as this is working, our plug will be working too. So here we go. What? Before you give up on yourself, Don't forget, try this. There you go. That's how easy it is. You can leave it on. Um, this comes with an extension, but we're not gonna be using it. So let's just stay on all the time. And then as long as this is getting power, that outlet's getting power. So we're gonna be branching a couple LED shop lights off of this. So all I have to do is plug it in, 
and then mount them in the ceiling. And um, when we move, we can just unplug them and take them with us if we want. And then we still have this uh, light bulb and plug fixture here for the uh, next people who come. So if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below right there. Um, the links to this and some of the tools that I use are all in this video. So you can go and click on that. Give you a good price on them over at Amazon um, is where I got this. So um, if you guys don't have anything else, let me know. Um, click on the link at the end to see how the shop lights came out. Until then, I'll see you on the next build.